What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I got an email from Joseph, and Joseph was having a discussion with a friend of his, and um, it's about you know basically healthy eating, healthy food, and you know people oh health is there anything below your caloric maintenance is health. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, there are healthy foods and there are not healthy foods. Anything with a fucking chemical in it that causes inflammation in your body is not a fucking healthy food. I don't give a shit what anybody says. You can fucking bitch them on all you want, but you stupid motherfuckers that are loading up with all these chemicals, you're going to pay the price, trust me. You're young now, but you'll pay that price, and fucking, I don't want to hear any bitching and moaning when that happens. But this woman told him that basically, um, women can't lose more than 10 pounds in a year at their max. And I was like, what? What the fuck? Where did that come from? 10 pounds a year? That's less than a pound a month. Okay, so in 52 weeks, you what? That doesn't make any sense, right? It used to be the old, like, one to two pounds per week. Well, 52 pounds, or 52 weeks in a year, that's 52 pounds at the low end. That's 110 at the fucking high end. So I don't understand where this whole new thing, like 10 pounds per max, max per year, um, basically, um, I'm trying to read what he was saying in here. But basically, he was trying to explain to her, like, stuff like, um, you know, individual metabolism, exercise, energy expenditure, caloric restriction, the types of foods you eat. All these things play into it, and she wasn't wanting to hear it. She just flat out wasn't wanting to hear it and uh, doesn't believe that and says, well, I have this disease that keeps me from losing weight. Now, she said a lot of women have this disease. I'm like, where the fuck are all these facts coming from? Well, a lot of women have this disease. What fucking disease is that? I'm 38 years old, going to be 39. Yeah, I'm old. But I've known a lot of women throughout my life. Friends, girlfriends, I mean, family members. What the fuck? Where did this, this disease for weight loss, you can't lose weight because you have a disease? What disease is that? Okay, because the only one that I know offhand that will keep you from losing weight when you're trying to lose weight is something to do with your thyroid. If you have something fucking your thyroid up, you could have a hard time losing weight. doesn't mean you're not going to be able to means that it just makes it harder. I've never seen a human body ever not be able to lose weight. And people can say, well, so-and-so did this and they didn't lose weight. Well, so-and-so didn't fucking count their calories right. So-and-so didn't count the fucking macros right. So-and-so didn't stick to all their fucking workouts. So-and-so binged when no one was around and fucking didn't see it. Like, let's face facts. There's a lot of people out there talking about how hard they're working and everything that they're doing. And bottom line is if you fucking added it up, 60% of the time they're doing what they should do. 40% they're not. And they're like, my results are slow. You're still getting results doing 60% of what you're fucking supposed to do. Imagine if you did 100. You would have almost twice the amount of results in the same amount of time. But instead you blame it. They look for excuses. They're an excuse for everything. Like, oh, I have a fucking, um, I mean, I heard one fucking girl talk about how her neck bothers her. Well, I have a neck injury from, um, uh, from a car accident, so I can't work out. What? Okay, so let's say you can't fucking do hardcore exercise. You can't do fucking plyos. You can't do, you know, any kind of pressing overhead. You don't have to stuff fucking cupcakes in your mouth fucking 18 hours a day. That's what you don't have to do, all right? Because I know for a fact that you're eating all kinds of garbage. Because I saw you at a fucking restaurant shoving fucking buffalo wings down your gullet. So don't give me this, like, oh, I'm fucking injured bullshit. I've had people multiple times say, well, I can't because of this. Well, why the fuck aren't you Steve, is counting your macros? You claim you want to lose weight. You claim you want to be in shape. Your blood work is fucking awful. Your cholesterol is high. Your blood pressure is high. You have a fatty liver issue, which is fucking liver enzymes are high. But you're claiming that the accident that happened 15 years ago. Well, let me tell you something, motherfucker. If you're going to the movies and going out to clubs and dancing with your girlfriends and doing all this other shit, but you can't exercise, and you have to stuff cupcakes in your face? No, you're just fat and want to be fat and don't want to accept the fact that you have to work to do it or that there's more to it than just fucking walking in the gym for 20 minutes, walking on the treadmill while talking on your cell phone or fucking reading your book and walking out the door. You don't want to put the effort into it, and that's fine. But I want to hear, you know what? I don't fucking care. I don't want to put the effort into it. I'm okay with being fat. It doesn't bother me. I don't want to hear fucking all the excuses and the bullshit. And I don't want to hear shit like, oh, well, you know, I can't, you can't lose more than 10 pounds a year as a woman. What the fuck? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And whoever came up with that should be whacked in the head with a fucking shovel like that video of those two fucking girls fighting. And the girl goes to her house and she's like, get off my property, I'm going to shoot you. And then go grab a shovel and fucking whacks her in the side of the head. That should happen to everybody who says something fucking stupid like, you shouldn't, you can't lose more than 10 pounds. This doesn't make any fucking sense. But, Joseph, you're right. It does take 
knowledge, it takes effort, it takes counting your macros, it takes exercise, it takes cardio, it takes all these things. And the most important thing that I think, you know, across the board, every single one of us agrees with, and I mean every single one of us, me, Lane Norton, Mark Lobliner, Chris Jones, will all agree with Jason Blaha, is you have to be consistent. That is first and foremost the most important thing that you need to do to be able to drop weight, get healthy, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's a job. If you're trying to get to the top of your job, you have to be consistent. You can't just do one good thing every once in a while and the boss will be like, you know, five years ago, fucking Jerry did something good. Let's make him the president of the company. No, you're going to have fucking ass us to be out there pounding day in, day out, moving, making fucking making deals, money making, fucking shaking to be able to get to that top thing. Same thing with this shit. You got to get out there day in, day out. You wake up in the morning, what you did yesterday doesn't fucking matter. And, you know, I'm so tired of people wanting pats on the back. Be like, well, I did good yesterday. I don't fucking care. Yesterday's gone. Fuck yesterday. Today's here now. And stop being a whiny little bitch and do the same thing you did yesterday. It's the same fucking feeling. It's the same exact fucking thing. Be consistent, okay? Because you rationalizing because you did good yesterday fucks up today, okay? And when you fuck up today, tomorrow has to undo today. So you're already a day behind, okay? And just most of the time it takes two days to undo that one day that you fucked up, if not longer. And what happens is when you realize it's not undoing, you say, fuck it, and you fuck up that day. And the whole thing goes to shit like a fucking landslide. And next thing you know, they're like, well, I can't lose more than 10 pounds in a year. It's not healthy. <laughs> I can take a shit and lose 10 pounds. All right, but anyway, that's a whole other thing, whether it's body fat or intestinal mass or water. That's a whole other discussion. But, Joseph, all you can do, personally, in my opinion, and I've seen this for the last 25 years, you explain to them, you try to give them the right information, and then you just fucking back off. Because if this girl wants to not really know how you know this is supposed to work, she's not going to know. And it doesn't matter what you say or do, she's not going to listen. But 10 years from now, something may click. You know, She may have a problem or an issue, whatever the case may be, it may click. Or she may just wind up trying what you're talking about as a you know roundabout way of finding it online or something. And next thing you know, it clicks and she's doing it and it's fine. But the more you push somebody to do something, the more they go back in the opposite direction. That's what's happening with this bro and IFYM thing right now is if the bros push clean foods, the IFYM guys push back with dirt, shitty foods. If the IFY guys, IFYM, IIFYM guys push the shitty foods, the bros push back with the clean foods. If everybody just left everybody alone, let them do their own thing, everything would be fine. BioSteadTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosteadtraining.com is the blog, and where it's so you can lead a horse to water, but it doesn't mean they're going to drink bicep, and we're out.